Today I'm going to teach you how to combine sweep picking with tremolo picking. You see, when you integrate these two techniques together, it not only creates some really cool fast guitar licks, but it also is a very useful guitar practice method to clean up your arpeggio playing. Hi, I'm Tom Hess. Once I learned the basics of sweep picking and began to build some guitar speed, I was very happy at first, but I could hear that my sweep picking wasn't always clean and accurate. The problem was I couldn't tell where the sloppy playing was coming from. What I mean is I could hear that one or more of the notes wasn't perfectly accurate, but because I was playing fast, I couldn't tell which note or notes weren't clean. Now I tried playing slower, but then the problem went away. However, the sloppiness would return as soon as I played fast again. This drove me crazy. I finally overcame this problem when my guitar teacher at the time showed me how to combine tremolo picking with sweep picking in order to help me identify where the problem was when playing arpeggios fast. Because when the two hands get out of sync, you can feel it in your hands. And that was the trick that I needed to learn. The best part was that not only did it help me clean up my sweep picking, but I loved the sound of combining these two picking techniques together, sweep picking and tremolo picking. I've taught these same ideas to hundreds of my online guitar students over the years, and today I want to start helping you. Now before you get started with all the fast picking you're about to learn, it's really important that your hands are properly warmed up first. Now to help you do this, check out my tutorial video on guitar warm-up exercises. One of the challenges that we have when we play arpeggios fast as you build the speed up is that as you gain speed, it gets harder and harder to tell if one or more of the notes is not clean because if the notes go by so quickly, it makes it harder to identify where there might be an error. You might hear that there's an error somewhere, but you're not sure exactly where it is. And when you slow down to practice that same arpeggio at a slower speed, often the problem may actually go away entirely and then the whole point of slowing it down, which was to identify where the problem is, goes away. So you, don't, you can't identify it because it's not there anymore. So what we need to do is have a way where we can identify and verify where the problem is when you're playing at higher speed. And adding a tremolo to various notes of the arpeggio will help you to do that because you're no longer relying on your ear to tell you where the problem is, but you're relying on the feeling in your hands to tell you definitively, yes, this is where the problem is. I know because I can feel the hand synchronization breaking down. So let's take a look now at example number one. This is a simple A minor arpeggio. I'm sure you're probably familiar with that one already. And of course, we're using sweep picking here. All right, example number two is not what it looks like in the notation and the tablature. So let me explain it. First, we've got our arpeggio. We got that one, the A minor arpeggio, that we had in example one. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop on any one of the notes that you see in measures two, three, and four, that, which indicate tremolo. Those three lines, those slashes under the note or on the note stem mean to do a tremolo. That's what that means, okay? So you can do, for example, the arpeggio. You could stop on this note and do a tremolo. Now we're gonna continue up the arpeggio again, and we're gonna stop at any other note that we want, any random note. I'll choose, for example, the note on the second string, the C note here. So I'll play up the arpeggio, and do a tremolo here, and then come back down. I can do a tremolo on that note or whatever. So in this example, so I went up the arpeggio, down the arpeggio, all the way up, all the way down, and then went up just to the B string. And then from here, come back down. Okay, now we'll choose another note, okay? Now I'm on the first string, 12th fret. Same thing, do a tremolo here, and then continue the arpeggio down. 
and then we can choose another note. Let's say I choose this note. Okay, so you're stopping at random places. And that's the idea. You're just gonna choose notes at random. That it's, it's probably better if it's at random than a specific pattern for the purpose of practicing the combination uh, it, of the tremolo with the sweep picking so you can identify where the sweep picking might be breaking down. You will feel it every time. So I made a couple of little flaws when I just did it just now. I could feel that it wasn't perfectly in sync every time. Sometimes it was, sometimes it wasn't. So uh, the point is when you feel that in your hands, it feels when you, when you do it right, it feels a certain way. When you do it wrong, it feels differently. In other words, when the hands are out of sync, it feels different. And that lets you know, yes, this is the note where that particular time it broke down. And then you do it again and you try and get it so it feels totally tight within your hands. So that was totally perfect. I could, I could feel it. Okay, so sometimes you'll nail it, sometimes you won't. But the point is that as you practice it, you'll get more and more consistent doing it. Now, so that's on the training side, the technical side of, of integrating the techniques for the purpose of trying to identify flaws of the breakdown of synchronization. However, as you'll notice, it also sounds pretty cool, right? It sounds, sounds pretty cool to, to do that at various points. I think it sounds pretty cool. Now, one more thing that will help you learn and master all of this faster is to check out my video on how to increase your guitar speed without moving your hands any faster. That video will is a really good uh, supplement to this one. And if you check out that one and then come back to the rest of this video, that will uh, you'll get more out of it. Let's take a look at example number three. I'll play it up to speed and then we'll break it down and I'll show you what's going on. All right, let's break this down. You'll notice we've got three pickup notes that happen before the very first full measure begins. Then we've got our first full measure, and every beat, you've got to add more notes. You're cramming in more notes. That means you have to play faster and faster and faster. So beat one contains six notes, or a sextuplet. And then beat two contains eight 30-second notes in the span of one beat. And then here, we've got 10 30 second notes in the span of eight. In other words, we're playing, we're cramming in 10 notes where normally there would be eight notes. That looks like this. And then at the end, we've got 12 30 second notes that you have to play where you would normally play eight. So this is, you can think of this like 30 second note triplets. And then after that, going into measure two, or the second full measure, we've got two beats of 30 second notes. And then we slow way down to just 16th notes. And then it would start over. Etc. So that's uh, a really cool one because it sounds cool. It's a, it's a great challenge rhythmically to cram those other notes in there and it feels good to play. Now, in addition to the sweep picking and tremolo picking that I've been using, I'm using a bigger concept here in guitar picking, which I call directional picking. You can check out my video on YouTube on directional picking to learn more about that. In the meantime, let's talk about how would you practice this stuff? Well, it's pretty simple. Practice the fundamentals slowly. In other words, when you're going through your sweep picking and you're stopping in on any particular note and you're doing a tremolo, make sure that you've got that clean at a slow speed and then speed it up gradually. You can use a metronome to move up gradually. Now, 
If you've seen my other videos before, you know that I'm typically not one of these people who says, practice slow and gradually speed up, and that's the best way to develop speed. I do not believe that that is the best way to develop speed. I think there are far better ways to use in combination with that type of advice. However, for this particular type of technique exercise, I do believe that starting off slow, getting the fundamentals down and gradually speeding up is the best way to practice this. So that's my advice to you there. Let me know by leaving a comment below what other sorts of topics you like me to make new videos on for you. So this video that I did today was at a request of someone who checked out one of the videos and wanted me to make a video on this topic. So this whole thing was based upon user comments. So if you leave a comment, I read them all, even the silly ones. And uh, sometimes I make new videos based on what people ask for. Now, if you like this video, subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell so that YouTube tells you when I publish a new video and so you don't miss it. And then hit that like button. So today we've been talking a lot about sweep picking and tremolo picking. But what about your fretting hand? If you want to build more guitar speed with your fretting hand, you'll love my new free e-guide called Mastering Fretting Hand Finger Independence for Guitar Players. It's totally free, no strings attached. I think you're gonna love this.